Hey guys, it's Kaza here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a broke protocol server. Creating a broke protocol server is extremely easy, so if you have created servers before, it's very likely that you're going to be able to do this yourself already. If you haven't created a server, this should be a good tutorial for you to follow. To do so, go to brokeprotocol.com, click on download, click on download here. This will take you to Game Jolt, where you can download the game. Click on download and here it's optional for you to uh, donate when you download the game. I have already done this uh, so I'm going to go no thanks, take me to the download. You can download it for free if you like but I'd highly recommend uh, donating towards the development of the game as it really helps the creator out. Click on no thanks, take me to the download and it will start downloading. Once the server files have finished downloading, extract them and move the folder wherever you want. In my case, I'm going to put it on my desktop. Open it up and edit settings.txt. Here you can set the name of the server. This is the name of the server that will appear in the global server list. The maximum amount of players you want connected to your server at one time. I'm going to set that to 50. And whether you want your server whitelisted or not. I'm not going to set mine whitelisted. If you want yours whitelisted, type in true. And then what you have to do is uh, list the play names that you want to be able to connect in the whitelist.txt document, like so. But I'm not going to do that. Next, go to serverinfo.txt. Edit that. This is optional. This is the text that appears when you join the server, when anyone joins the server. I'm going to set it to welcome. You can keep it to whatever you want. Next, go to adminlist.txt, put your name that you're going to register on your server there. This will allow you to be admin. And now you can run the server by opening server.bat. Now this tells us to port forward UD ports 5555 and 5556. This is so people outside of your network can access your server. You can close this, this isn't the server itself, this is just the launch window. So you close that, the server is still running. Now when you first run that, uh, a dialog box may appear for Windows Firewall asking for it to go through it. Click accept, otherwise Windows Firewall will block the application itself. Now let's see if the server is up and running. So go to open up your client. Click play online because it's a server and press on localhost. Register and we should join the server. Here we go, we've joined the server. This is our welcome message and to check if we are admin, press tab and click on someone's name and it will give you these options to kick ban, arrest, teleport, remove job. And also admin options, you can change the time scale. And there you go. So now that we know this is our server and that we are admin on it, uh, you can port forward ports 5555 and 5556 on UDP to allow people to connect outside of your network. I'll be leaving a link in the description to portforwarding.com where it's a great website uh, where you just search up the model of your router and the make and it gives a detailed tutorial on how to port forward on your specific router. Anyway, thank you for watching this video on how to set up a broke protocol server. I hope it helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the tutorial, uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Apart from that, have a good one.